Did you know that it's against the law to sing off key in North Carolina? YouTube. Hello. How you doing? I'm doing good. So for the past month or so, I've been getting as many of you as possible to send me your favorite rant moments or rant episodes, and none of you knew what it was for because it was kind of like a secret project. I just said I needed your help on it. Well, this video is that secret project. So let's begin. Serious face. <clears throat> In September of 2009, I did two significant things. I purchased a MacBook with Final Cut and a built-in webcam. I just got this brand, this new laptop finally, which is why you can see my room. My room, look at, look at my room. My room is so bland and, and wooden and boring. And I made a commitment to create consistent weekly YouTube content. I've been toying with the idea of making a new video either every Monday or every Tuesday, and I can't decide. I didn't really know what kind of content, but I knew it was going to be some sort of talk to the camera, sort of jump cuttiness. Hello, everyone. Hi. Ah, such a loser. The show's format changed quite a bit over the past almost two years. I missed the odd week. Hey, guys. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make a rant. This week. I have a bit of a confession to make. I didn't make a video last week. I owe you guys an apology. I didn't make a video last week, and I'm very, very sorry about that. Anyway, guys, I just made a video today to tell you that I can't make a video tomorrow. Oh, and quick before I go, guys, I'm not gonna be making a video for the holidays. Um, uh, I actually, I, I'm not making a video this week, guys. And I wasn't necessarily always super enthusiastic or up to the challenge every week. Did you know that I am really tired? So today, I have a cold. Let's make this quick. So I can go back to sleep. I'm so tired. But looking back at my first video compared to this one or the one before this one, first of all, I have a consistent and participating audience who are awesome. Second of all, like I said, the show's style slash format has changed dramatically for the better. And thirdly, this is something that I know many of you can testify to, I have grown and matured with the show. And I must say, I've really enjoyed the journey. One of my favorite things is actually being interacting with you guys. Hero! the week. Shout out. Not only on here, but also on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and whatever other social networking sites that you have an account for and I have an account for. We've met each other on these websites and some of us have met in real life and some of you I know in real life, like personally, beyond just sort of like a, a YouTube show relationship. We've made a genuine connection, and like I say, some of us have actually become pretty close friends. Which is like, incredibly awesome. Like, do you realize that some of us only know each other because of the YouTube? Like, I wouldn't know you otherwise, or I might, but I wouldn't know you as well as I know you. Like, it just, it blows my mind that this has happened. However, it is now time to say goodbye. I have gotten a new job at a summer camp called Muskoka Woods where I will be teaching video production. I'll put a link in the bar wherever it is beside me, below me, around me, or above me, and you can go check out what Muskoka Woods is, what they do, blah 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 blah. And this is very exciting because I will be doing something I love to do for a living, which is the first time I've ever been able to say that in my life. I did not realize that till now. Anyway, the job has crazy hours. Like I literally only have 24 hours a week where I'm not either on call or working. And during that time off, I'm probably not gonna be wanting to do much more than just sleep or slash rest. Especially when it starts to get towards the end of summer cause I'll be tired from the whole summer. So yeah, rant is going to end for at least the summer. I don't know where I'm gonna be or what I'll be doing in September. There's a couple of options which have presented themselves, none of which I wanna get into the details about. But basically, like I say, I don't know what's happening in September. So I don't know what's gonna happen with Rant. I don't know if I'll be back. I mean, I'll definitely be back with videos now and then, but I mean, consistently every week? I don't know. As it stands, this is the final episode of Rant, which feels extremely weird to say. And there is one final order of business that I have to do before Rant ends. We should just have an episode where I just do random faces. That would be so random. Um, 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 um. Yeah. Hey. Ah. Oh yeah. I am totally straight. What's a me gusta? There. Now I didn't miss any of them. Now like I said, I will be back with random videos now and then or you know like a visual vlog here and there because those aren't something I have to commit to, they're just things that I do now and then for side projects. And there is another YouTube vlogger named Sorax Kakashi, link in the bar, and I will definitely be appearing in their videos from time to time over the summer so that's another person you can subscribe to if you really love my face that much. And there are other YouTubers like Blackheart60, uh, KidJr67, uh, JQ22, which will all be in the bar. I'll make sure to put a list of people who you can also subscribe to, who I will be making videos with, and blah 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 blah. But yeah, this is... this is it, guys. This is goodbye, for now. 
In the words of Carla Schechter, I now say goodbye, but not forever. In the blink of an eye, we will again be together. Until next time, YouTube. Peace in. Good morning, YouTube. Or if you're watching this at night, good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. My voice changes to a British accent at night because uh, I have this disease. It's called My Voice Changes at Nightitis. So, it's a real thing. You should look it up. But seriously, guys, YouTube is five years old. And I really can remember creating my first YouTube account those, like, three years ago. And I really must say, it has grown a lot. A lot. Am I the only one here who doesn't think Charlie Sheen is completely crazy? This is not a third world country starving for food. This is not a country racked by war or natural disasters. This is not a country suffering the oppression of a dictatorship. This is not a country where free will and freedom of speech are frowned upon. This is not a country where you are forced in or out of certain religions. And this is certainly not a country where owning a religious text can get you killed or imprisoned. And yet everyone in this country finds something to complain about. At least Google acts on what they say they're gonna do, unlike some people. <clears throat> Obama. <clears throat> There can only be one truth in this world, but we have to strive together as a people to figure out what that truth is without killing each other in the process. It's not the actual thing or organization or whatever that's causing the problem. It's the person using it and the person who is behind the organization. I was just sitting here doing, uh, well, nothing. Am I weird? This could actually be the end of their life slash the world as we know it, which means why are you joking about it? You could not be more of a fag. Is that a challenge? Well, Robin Hood's actual name is Robin of Loxley, so if he said his name to anyone, then they would know it was Robin of Loxley the outlaw, and they would kill him or capture him or whatever they did to outlaws those days. Probably outlaw them again and tell them not to come back very firmly. I am honestly sick and tired of seeing these debates of people about telling each other who is wrong instead of both people saying, okay, let's just try and make the world a better place. Because whether or not there's life after we die, we do know that there is life now, and for some people, life now sucks. And whether or not we believe that those people are going to have a better life when they die or not, we should try and add more happy moments to their life now just in case this is all they have. And even if this isn't all they have, it still sucks to be alive and not like your life. People People will donate to organizations not because they care about the kids, they, they might not even be thinking about the kids. They're doing it to make themselves look better, to get people to like them more. If these shows that your children are watching have a heavier influence on their opinion than you do, you have got some serious parenting to catch up on, my friend. This is my cat, Gerald. Oh, he's a, he's a very nice cat. Yes, but it's unfortunate about how he's suffering. Your cat is suffering? Well, yes, he's a cat. First! First! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! First! I got the first! Comment! Yes! Don't do that ever again. The reason I dislike the word hate is because of what it stands for and what it causes and what it what it can do to people just by saying that word. Airplane. The thing that actually annoys me the most about cell phones is the fact that some people claim they would not be able to survive without theirs. Oh, you sad human being. I have survived my entire life without a cell phone and yet you tell me you would die without yours. You'd be fine. People aren't interested in normal people. People are interested in stuff that's different. That's why they watch TV to get away from their normal boring life. I did not come across one single human being this past year who did not have some sort of complaint about something. Because usually the people you're blaming think it's your fault. So it just becomes a vicious circle. Penises! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, and so on. We live off of money like we couldn't survive without it. Like, I want you to seriously consider for a second. You have 24 hours to live. What do you do? Hey guys, how's it going? I'm doing all right myself. I know it looks like I probably haven't showered in about three days, and that's because, um, well, it's because I haven't. Lesk Vaughn left a comment on one of my videos saying... Did you know that there are more dogs in Paris than- Ah, daylight! Random invisible face. Imagine a world without idiots. Tanzania, as I'm sure you're aware, is a country that can be found in Australia? No. Europe? No. India? No. South America? No. Where the hell is this country? Oh, it's in Africa. No, I'm not smuggling kittens across the border. What? Oh, that's not what you asked me? Oh, how am I? Gee, that's kind of weird. What do you, what do you think? That was, 
That was weird. The world is in pretty bad shape because of humans. I mean, humanity is in bad shape because of humans. We're donating all this money to these kids to make ourselves look awesome, but then you walk down to the coffee shop and there's a guy sitting outside with no money, no food, no water, no anything, just the torn clothes that are on his body, and you completely ignore him. I mean, think about it. Why do people kill? Why do people steal? All because of money. We all know that when two people live together and they're the same sex, that they're just gay together. That's Isn't that just common knowledge, right? Sarcasm, 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 sarcasm. For those who are too stupid to understand. Hate carries a lot of power and punch, but there is one situation that will always shock me whenever I hear it being used in that situation. It's when kids under the age of 10 use the word hate in a sentence. Here's my theory, and it might be a little bit harsh, and if it is, just tell me, let me know, but this is what I think. The reason our society labels people with disabilities as suffering is because we want to feel better about ourselves. It's easy to pretend to have compassion and love for somebody that you'll never meet, but when you actually come across someone on the streets of the city that you live in and they have nothing, it can be harder to give to them, but it's it's no different than giving money to the kids in Africa. And now that I'm standing here on this rock in the middle of this field, I'm remembering that I forgot my notes of what I was going to say. So I apologize if I'm kind of all over the place. Random poop face. Did you know that if you yelled for eight years, seven months, and six days, you would have produced enough sound energy to heat an entire cup of coffee? I went back on my Hotmail account the other day and it was like an elephant graveyard of spam and spam and Nigerian princesses and it was bad. But Charlie Sheen understands what sells. And crazy people sell. So in the end, Charlie Sheen is yes. Winning. Random, if I don't pee, I'll explode. Face. <laughs> but the rest of the time, like at work or anything like that, I'm generally mostly quiet. There's a deer over there. See that? Whee! I love living in Canada. And I specifically remember as a kid thinking, hmm, they live together. They must be gay. What? No! I was like six years old. That thought would never enter into my head because I don't think about stuff like that when I'm six. We might label people with special needs as suffering. And to those of us attempting to fit into the world, yeah, they might seem as suffering because they're not normal like us with friends and stuff. But in reality, we're more likely to be the suffering ones than they are. We're weighed down with all these burdens of bills and life and jobs and stresses of school and we're always constantly trying to impress people and fit into groups and have friends and blah 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 and we fail to notice the little things like looking up at the stars and just saying hey those are really beautiful i have been doing these videos for over a year now i learned a lot about different personality types different relationship types different types of disabilities that people have i learned a lot about just about every kind of human interaction there is in the book yes views are important and everyone loves views even i love when i get more views. But my first love on YouTube is the fact that I have such a tight audience. I have dedicated people who love to come back every week and discuss these things with me. Oh, I wonder how many subscribers we're gonna lose today.